This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Now, that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And I give this time to the tailback. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down and inches. So after that stop, you know the third down is not a gimme if you're on the offensive team. So what are you going to do? Run it again, or maybe you go play action and try and throw the ball and pick up the necessary yardage. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Well, Brandon, so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. And they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That's the second sack of the game and the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them. What moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. And the Giants send out their punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. come the Eagles. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They go play action here on first down. Try to lay one up deep. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. 
Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield? Maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? Anything trying to get going again, but you're right. He definitely took a shot. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Holding defense. Thought he may have gotten away with one there, but the ref caught him, and it's holding. So here we go, first and ten now. They come up in an offset eye. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. When you put together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Uh, here we go. Blue Blue They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Three, They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The New York set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, good luck there as a ball carrier. You get handed that football, look up. Oh, there's a big D tackle ready to swallow you whole for a loss. Yeah, you kind of count on your guys to give you at least a little bit of time, a little bit of space to try and maneuver, but not on that one. And when you have a defensive tackle who is that strong, that agile, he's a lot to deal with. Sometimes you have to double him, and sometimes you're not able to block him no matter who's trying. Nine yards to go. It's third down. to throw here. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Third down is the down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? 
Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. And they'll add a DB in the secondary here on third and 14. They'll drop to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The Eagles send out their punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And the return man will shuffle through the white stuff, secure the fair catch with both hands. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing middle, and it's complete. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot reset. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Their dangerous wide receiver sending his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Giants add on to their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Lambeau to add on the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Giants' defense working their way back onto the field now. They were able to force that three and out. That led to a touchdown. And defenses obviously love three and outs. They want more of that. They created a very short and not too sweet stint for the offense by getting them off the field that fast, but it set up their own offense, gave them a little spark, and they took it downfield and scored. Now the question, can they do it again? Let's see. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Holding defense. So the defensive holding penalty here, Charles. You get outside of five yards downfield, and you get grabby with an offensive player, the flag will come out every time. They'll run it now, out of the gun. 
And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play a 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. And some room to roam now. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there, 67 yards. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Point after here, coming up. And this is up and good. It cuts the lead to 28-10 now. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. It's a short kick taken near the 18. And that should give his guys a spark. He's up all the way to the 44-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Well, they imposed their will on that last drive. And a nice gain of 21 yards. short game down to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Set, three, 19. Three, 19. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here and that's complete. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. Short of the sticks after that completion, and now it's third down for this offense. Now they'll throw here out of the gun, surveying the field. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. So the Giants now are going to turn it over to their field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So a good kick there, and they wrap up the drive by putting three on the board. And you know, let's face it, you're not always going to come away with six. Defense in the NFL are just too good. But you've got to come away with something. And there, they get three. Now after the main field goal, back out Lambeau to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. So at the start of this game, it looked like the defense was wearing him down a little bit. Now you look at the numbers, that's kind of flipped. Yeah, I agree with you totally, and his offensive line has really started to play well. And the best offensive line coaches that I've ever talked to, 
when they have great runners, you know what they tell their guys? Relax, you don't have to be perfect. Get as many guys as you can, but if you leave one free... And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. to throw here. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. A solid gain of 15 yards and the sticks move. Fresh set of downs here. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it's a second down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. You're watching the NFL Playoffs on EA Sports. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth down. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. It's an eight-yard pickup. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him nine on the play. And that'll make it second and short. to throw again. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. And this seemingly endless drive continues. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Here we go now. Blue 90. Blue 90. 
He'll set up a throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Well, the feel that I get on this is that they felt like three was just not going to be enough after getting this deep into their territory. And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. That tells me that during the week, they were thinking about these situations, and they feel like maybe they're just the better team, and they want to go ahead and prove it conclusively. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. So they got to have six here. It's third and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's caught at the two. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going forward here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin fourth quarter. You're going. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Giants defense able to come up with a goal line stand. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And to give this time to the tailback. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. When a coaching staff sees their team run the ball this successfully in the fourth quarter, they're really excited because you can plan for a running game all you want and want to press that advantage when you get it. But for the most part, it's a little bit of a surprise. And right now, they've got to keep that going, want to continue to grind out the clock because it's definitely in their favor at this stage of the game. Can they close the game out and continue to do exactly what we just saw there? And that's run the football. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. It's third down, six yards to go for the offense. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got time. Great protection. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. And right now, I take my rudimentary kindergarten skills and draw where the tackle box would be. 
because that was close. I thought he was in the tackle box. He has to be very careful where he gets rid of the football from that spot. Yeah, they say there was a receiver in the area, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a receiver in the area. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He loses four, and it brings up four. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Eagles take possession. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. throw and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40 call it a three yard gain and it'll be third down he's been a busy man here in this one and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds and with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game wouldn't you keep him busy as well i would of course you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him he keeps making plays So completion on second down, that brings up third. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And now a first down following that long game. They'll look to throw again. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. A big loss there of about seven yards on first and goal, so now it's second down. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak, no running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. And now it's second and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football, if you're going to throw it. So and he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles get a score closer. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. 
So the drive there took six plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Second down following the run. They'll give it to him right up the gut. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. That appeared to be an example of a speed back setting up the defender. He thinks he's going to fake him out, try and juke him. Instead, he runs through him. They come up in an offset eye. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. And they'll go on the ground. And a few little stuff. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So we've got a second and five. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Four down, four down. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. That one looks like he'll throw here. This will be caught at about the three. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. time in the pocket and he just throws this one away smart decision here this close to the end zone and it brings up second down and the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation Lot of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. They go down to a knee, and that will do it. They are moving on here in the playoffs. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Four down, four down, four down. 
Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes changes the course of things, but a big shout out to our crew to make sure that we were comfortable up here, as comfortable as one could be. In these elements, they took care of us and made sure we were dressed properly. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Giants are winners as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.